of painting on this rear shield, you're going to want to give a little bit more energy to it. So let's hit this balance shield, which lifts up this button right there, and it'll take energy from your other shields that aren't damaged and give it to the damaged one. So it's not only the equipment of your ship that determines how you're going to play in space. Um, your bridge crew has certain powers as well. So let's click this guy's bridge crew power. And he will load up three photon torpedoes in the photon bay. So if you had another enemy to kill, they would fire off three the next time you saw them. Let's actually fly towards this guy. Do not yet. So as you're flying around right now, your top um, is asking if you want to beam down to the planet. But since you want to go fly around and kill some more guys, I guess. Right now, you're balanced towards attack. So let's actually click speed. And it'll balance all your subsystems to give you more of a speed advantage. It takes a little bit so in PvP you're not able to get shield one and shield left. So as we approach, let's click this guy's bridge power again. And he'll load those photon torpedoes up. Do they automatically fire when you just hit it? Um, no, they don't. They just load it into the bay, so then you decide when to fire. So these guys do a bombing run. Maybe you can select that middle guy, because he'll come right at you. There you go. You fired off those three. Now, even though his shields aren't down, he's going to take some hull damage, because there's a little bit of bleed through. Since they did a good run on you and sort of damaged all your shields, um, this engineer, I believe, if you click on him, he'll give a shield buff to all your shields at one time. You also, you also have a foot on that. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks great on the HDD, but you don't often have to see it on the back of the I played at home with my 1080p all the time. So you, you can also activate um, equipment powers for your ships over here. So that'll give you a buff turning radius, um, as well as aiming and damage. So actually, as ships explode in the game, they can uh, knock you back and knock your shield down. So you have to be careful when you're playing against um, some of the larger ships. Your friends are going in there. You don't want to roll them up and your friends are close. And it'll drop their two. Or maybe you do. <laughs> it's actually a really devious PvP deck. To hold somebody with um, a tractor beam and blow up a ship right next to them, they'll get all the damage. <laughs> What's great when you play with multiple people um, is you've got a couple smaller ships that are more maneuverable. You're able to shut them down by being like a safety field on them or like a tractor beam. There is that power. It's actually, as we come towards them, let's click on the cat. It'll slowly balance you more towards attack and you'll get a little bit more weapon power. Something else, so you are able to, WASD will find you control your ship. So you can do the camera and ship lock off. Or you would select the ship and select the ship X. X will swing the camera around and do a target lock. So you can X on Now, you don't need to worry about the camera at all. You can just worry about managing all your shadows and your bridge. But if you play your friends, your friends will take over those. So, so all the tricks in the game, completely customizable for AI. All the abilities have fights. Then you choose who on your crew you want to sit on your bridge. So you essentially get to choose your spots, your mobile, and your bridge. You know, Obviously, the other thing that's very important is that the best part is that you get to play this instead of being Well, Star Trek as well. Star Trek, even the great game, we took so much to struggle at. But we really want Space Combat to feel more tactical and um, active. So as you notice, everything that he's doing, he's not going to be so We never want you to feel like you're taking a passive role in the game. You're playing as the captain in our game. We want you to be in command of your starship. So now if you want to beam down to the planet, actually, your office is calling it. So let's click that beam button. And let's beam down. 
Yeah. So I believe we're going to beam down onto a um, uh, wrecked ship. At this point, you would actually take a look at your crew roster and take a look at the mission and decide who you want to beam down with you. So um, these people can either be NPCs or they can be player control or a mix of both. So ground combat's a lot more about um, reaction and um, build. So right now you have two weapons. By pressing Z, you can swap between them. In this demo, you have a phaser pistol and a phaser rifle. Um, you have a primary shot, a secondary shot, and um, a melee knockoff. So if you come around the corner here, doesn't it, right? Um, your bridge officers will follow you intelligently. You'll also be able to... What was that? I don't know. Sorry. So, your bridge officers, you'll be able to give them specific commands, like target by target, use your abilities, uh, follow, be more active, be more passive. So the cool thing is you can stand back and you can play like maybe a support role while your whole bridge crew goes and takes the beat. There is a mini map, uh, but we turn it off for the So if you switch back to your right, um, you can switch to that five button. That's one of your personal abilities. You turn on a targeting sensor, and it'll give you a damage and aiming call. We'll also have a full melee uh, ability, so instead of having a rifle and a pistol, you'll be able to choose rifle and melee. Okay. Or a pistol and melee. So something I like to do is take a phaser pistol with me, and as the Klingons are running, stun them all, and run up and do combos and phaser attacks on them. As you can see, they're dropping loot, so we're going to have loot and items in the game as well. So one of your bridge officers wants you to be 